Okay, so this is video four of the prep series. We're going to talk about five different mobility exercises. Um, in total, there's ten. The second five will be on video number five. Um, first one is scapular stabilization, and then we go on to shoulder mobility. So for scapular stabilization, we can use things like uh, TeraBands. Um, these you pick up cheap enough, different sets, different densities. And you can also get the, the thicker bands out of them, the, the sports shop. So all you want to do is have the elbows locked out. You're going to pull the band apart, squeezing the shoulder blades together, and hold and relax. So depending on your, your level of mobility and scapular stabilization, you might need something a bit more rigid than a terror band. And from there, we can go into shoulder dislocators. So keeping the same band, keeping the elbows locked, you're just going to bring it back and bring it back forward. And if you find it too comfortable, you just move your hand in closer on the band again. You're bringing it back and forward. Without bending the elbows, you should feel some strain, or very mild strain, coming through on the front of the shoulder. If you find that the band is enough, and um, primarily females will have, tend to have a good shoulder mobility, you can grab something more rigid, like a sweeping brush handle. And same again, start on the outside, elbows are locked. You're going to just bring it back, keep the chest up, elbows locked bringing it forward. So what we're doing is internal rotation of the shoulders, up, up and out into external rotation of the shoulders. Okay, number three is what we call thoracic extension squats. And use something like a, a frame or a door frame or banisters of the stairs. What you want to do is you're going to pull the shoulders back and down, lifting the sternum as if you're trying to pull the pole into the floor. And from there you just want to ease down, keeping that position into the squat, and then come back up, back down, back up. So with this you're holding that thoracic extension. So too many people have too much mobility in their lumbar spine, and not enough mobility then in the thoracic spine, so your upper back. Okay, so number three then we're going on is um, for some hip mobility. So for this one, we can come down onto all fours, have your hands in close, heels in close, boom off the floor, you're going to rotate up on the ball of the foot, knee to the floor, one, two, bring it across, three, four, then up to one, one, two, three, four. So I'm trying to keep the rest of my body as still as possible, I'm not compensating by lifting this foot off the floor or moving my hips out. You're trying to stay as steady as possible. Just the one leg moves, so we're working on the hip joint of that leg. So a progression on from that then would be to do the same thing in a squat position. And um, If you have good mobility already, you can do it in a free squat or you can gently just hold on to something like a door frame to stop it from falling back into it. So it's the same position from the other. Hold it out, one, two. Keep the body centre, drop the knee across. Three, four. Opposite leg, one, two. Out wide, three, four. 